adjustable nose piece, as you can see, okay, great coverage, okay, it's got four layers, three of which are fabric layers, and one is an interchangeable filter layer, oh, and there are no pleats! Hi everyone, welcome to episode 47 of the So Not Scary series. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a reusable or washable face mask for yourself, and a really easy tourniquet to protect your ears while you're wearing your face mask all on our mini sewing machine. Hooray! Okay, so we're going to begin with two squares of fabric measuring seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches, okay? You want to make sure that they are really, really dense cotton fabrics. So we're going to take these two sheets of fabric and we're going to place them with the right sides facing each other. Now my fabric is almost identical on either side, but if you're using printed fabric, make sure that the good sides are facing each other. So we're going to sandwich them together and give them a good press, okay? I'm gonna fold them in half and then just kind of press down on that crease, just to give me an idea of where that crease is, okay? There is that crease line. Now I'm going to take a ruler and a pencil and mark out two and a half inches in from each side along that crease. Two and a half here, two and a half here. Okay. We're going to sew a straight line from the edge down to that mark. Another straight line from the edge down to the mark. And I'm going to um, start, go here and then go back again just to double stitch that line. Rule number one of good sewing practice is to always press your seams. I'm gonna lift up one top layer of fabric and fold it over onto the other side, like so. And now I'm gonna give this a good press. We're gonna flip the whole thing over. And now we're going to lift the top layer and then fold it onto the other side, like so. Okay. And now opening it up like a book, I'm going to press this okay, out. Okay, so now that we've done this, look what we're left with. There's an opening down the middle for inserting a filter, okay? And now we're going to get on with the rest of the mask. Okay, so here I've got the outer fabric, okay? And this is a really high quality, really dense cotton, okay? Um, and the measurements are 10 and a half inches this way and seven and a half inches this way, okay? I'm going to take the inner pocket we just sewed and keep it down the middle of that fabric. So you should have roughly an equal quantity of fabric on either side, okay? And we're gonna quickly just pin or clip this together. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sew two straight lines, one on the top and one along the bottom here, okay? Okay, so after stitching, this is what it looks like. There is a stitch running on, on the top and on the opposite side as well, okay? So we're gonna give it a good press now and then move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've given it a good press, we're going to flip it inside out or right side out. And now we're going to give this a good press. Okay, so now that we've uh, pressed everything out, simply just fold the corners in. That's what I'm going to do today. Give it a good press so it stays. This side as well. Okay, now we're gonna fold it in once. Fold it in one more. Okay, so now that these sides have been folded in, I'm gonna clip it together. Okay, so now that we've clipped both the sides, we're gonna sew a really narrow hem just on the inside right there, okay? And right at the very end, I'm going to leave long strands so I can knot the threads together, okay? And we're gonna repeat the same on the other side as well. 
Okay, so after turning in the edges and stitching them down, I also gave the seams a good press, okay? And this is what the mask looks like so far, okay? So there's a nice internal pocket where you can put in a filter and we'll talk about that in a minute. And already it's triple layered, okay? Now, before we add in the elastic, there's one more thing I want to do and which is to add a little nose piece. Okay, so this next step is purely optional, but if you do choose to do this, it's going to improve the fit um, of your face mask so much more, okay? And I cannot take credit for this technique. It was actually shared by a lady called Brittany Bailey on her channel, and I'm going to link out to her channel down below so you can find out exactly how she did it. She used electrical tape, but here I'm going to um, use this really super strong T-Rex tape. Um, another form of this tape is called Gorilla Tape. They're basically industrial strength, super, super strong tapes, which are also uh, he heavily or highly water resistant, uh, and they're just really strong, okay? And here I've got a pair of wire cutters, okay? You could probably get away with using uh, some really strong, sharp pair of scissors too, which are not for cutting fabrics, okay? And here I've got a length of um, heavy gauge florist's wire. This was the thickest one I had. Uh, you can choose to use pipe cleaners, the ones that kids use for crafting purposes, or even, you know, little uh, bag ties which come wrapped around coffee bags or um, brioche bags or bread bags, okay? So anything with a bit of wire, stiff wiring inside can work. We're gonna cut up the wire to two and a half inches length. We need two pieces of two and a half inches of the wire. And we need a three inch piece of the tape. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna align the wires parallel to each other on the middle of the tape. That's the best I can do. And now we're gonna wrap this tape all around the wire from both sides, okay? This way. And now you can see it's going to stay put in whichever shape you bend it. So I'm going to clip away the extra tape on the sides. Right then, that's a nose piece ready. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to flip our mask over so that the inner side with the pocket is facing up. We're gonna take our nose piece, okay? And the idea is that we're, we have to insert it inside the mask somewhere in the middle, okay? So let's find the middle. I'm gonna fold it in half and just make a little crease there with my fingernail. Okay, so that's the middle. And I'm gonna do my best to kind of align the middle of the tape to the middle of that point so I can slide it around and feel where that is going. So I think I think that's really good and centered. Okay, I can feel it and now we can clip it in place. Okay, so the nose piece is all clipped down. Now here is the plan. We're going to sew a line of stitching to keep or contain the nose piece in place, okay? So I'm gonna start in one corner, sew a straight line down and then across down the length of the nose piece and then up again, okay? And I'm gonna leave long strands on either end so I can physically manually knot the threads off. Let's do that. Okay, so our nose piece has been stitched in and this is what it looks like, okay? really nice and tidy and I did knot and bury the threads inside the fabric like I showed you how to do in this video. So I've got some bungee cording here and it's it's quite um, nice and stretchy but I know that under ideal circumstances a flat elastic will be more suitable or more comfortable so if you've got that flat sewing elastic, that'll be even better. But because I just have bungee cord at hand, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut out two lengths of this measuring 10 inches long. Okay, so my bungee cords have been cut down to 10 inches. Now I'm gonna try and use a safety pin to thread these guys through. There we go. And now I'm gonna knot the two ends together, okay? 
And now I'm going to pull it on one side so it disappears, so that the knot disappears inside. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. Okay, so now that the mask is done, for the next step, we're going to make a little brace for the mask to protect our ears. And Miss Sophie here is going to help me do that. So Sophie, can I have a giant button, please? This one. Thank you. Okay, so you've got a huge big button with big holes inside it, as you can see. So we can put this away. So I'm going to tie a knot on one end of the cord, like so, okay? And now I'm going to use the other end to thread this button through. Well, let's pass it all the way down to the bottom, actually. There we go. Okay, and the knot is going to lock the button in place, okay? And now, on this side, on the opposite end of the cord, I'm going to make a... Um, loop knot okay so we've got a loop on the other side and a button on one side okay and now this is how the system is going to work so the first thing we're going to do is attach this button to our mask so we're going to just pass the loop through one earpiece pass the button through the loop and pull okay now that button is locked in place okay and now we're going to wear the mask these two loops are going to go behind your ears, okay? Once you've put these behind your ears, this is what you're going to do. You're just going to take the button and put it through the other loop, okay? And once you do it, this is what's going to happen. To adjust the mask, you just pull on this, okay? And the button will lock behind the earpiece, okay? And as you pull it taut, it takes the pressure off your ears and give you a better or a tighter fit, okay? I hope you found today's tutorial helpful, guys, and that it gave you some ideas on how you can make a fabric face mask very easily on your mini sewing machine, and that you can also play around with different features of the mask, for example, including a filter pocket or making a little brace for yourself to protect your ears. And this way, something that seemingly might not appear to be very comfortable can be very easily adjusted to your needs or whoever you're making the mask for. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you soon. Bye!